Hello, and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. I'm Cristina Marujos, and joining me today is Marius Hachikiriakos. We'll be looking at the very important week regarding the U.S. dollar. Of, co- of course, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell is testifying before Congress on Wednesday. Markets will be eyeing his choice of words, let's say, as to any signals of the Fed's next move. So what do you think we'll see out of the meeting? Well, here's the deal. Markets are convinced that the Fed will cut rates in July. It's priced in fully, 100% probability. That means there's a lot of room for disappointment. Why? Powell, I suspect, may want to push back on the market pricing a little bit. So since the latest meeting in June, we've had some positive developments on the margin at least. So the latest US employment report was pretty strong. The trade outlook got a little bit better with the ceasefire. So overall, the latest developments don't scream or don't have dampened the need for an immediate rate cut. Now, the markets don't view it that way. So if Powell wants to retain any form of optionality and not pre-commit to a July cut, this is his final chance to do it. So in that sense, I believe that the risks around the dollar are tilted to the upside this week. If he if he uh, suggests that there is any sort of doubt as to whether the Fed will cut rates in July, that would be a positive in the short term for the dollar. Of course, apart from his testimony, we have some data coming out of the U.S. We have the Fed minutes hitting markets on Wednesday, followed on Thursday by the 12-month CPI rate, which is expected to have uh, dropped slightly. So what does this, what do these reports, what does this data say about the U.S. economy? Well, the Fed minutes, I believe, will be seen as a little bit outdated by the market. So they were the, that meeting took place before the latest U.S. Empl- employment report. So the CPI, most of the attention could fall on the CPI data. Now, overall, for the U.S. economy, it's losing steam. No doubt we've had some weakness in manufacturing. We've also we've also seen the GDP indicators for the second quarter not being great. But overall, the data are not screaming for an immediate rate cut. They are saying the data pulse is saying that you know, the economy is losing steam, but you know, the Fed could wait a little bit with cutting rates and you know, monitor more income data, for example. I see. And finally, what about the dollar? We've seen the greenback struggling against its major peers lately. Uh, what are these reports? And of course, uh, the Fed's testimony against Congress. Uh, what, what is that? Tell us about the dollar. Well, like we said, I think that Powell, I suspect that Powell will will try to push back a little bit on the market's pricing this week to keep some of his options open. Now, if he does, the dollar might gain a little bit. We've already seen it recover some of its latest losses. But in the bigger picture, I still believe that the outlook for the dollar is negative. So the global central banks are entering an easing cycle. It may be a prolonged one. So in that environment, the Fed has more room and more firepower with which to ease than any of its other major peers. That means that if everyone starts cutting like the market expects they will, then the potential downside in the dollar will likely be more severe than than in the yen or the euro. So short-term upside risks for the dollar, longer-term downside risks. I see. So it is going to be a very important week indeed. Marios, thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for watching us at XM.com.